John Cena, actor and WWE superstar, doesn't want children. Professor Jordan Peterson thinks that people should aspire to have children and build their life around traditional family structure. John Cena was recently on the Shay Shay podcast. We're going to watch that clip and unpack it. We're also going to watch some clips from Professor Jordan Peterson, in which he indirectly addresses the things that John Cena said. And stay tuned till the end while we reveal a household name who has decided not to have children and you will not believe the reason he gives. Where are you on kids now? Uh, I, I don't want them. You don't? No, and I'm, I'm still there. I'm, I'm 47. I don't have them. It's not the easiest out there because, you know, um, a, a lot of why we're here is, is to reproduce. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a certain curiosity about life. And I also know, I also know the investment that it takes. Mm -hmm. And my biggest fear is, as someone who's driven, many times stubborn and selfish, I try to approach the world with kindness and curiosity, but I... I don't think I'm personally ready, nor will I ever be, to invest the time it needs to be a great parent. I want to live life for all it is. And it, I still have a lot to do. And I've, I've, I can tell you this is not like a knee-jerk reaction. Mm -hmm. I've thought long and hard about this. Yeah. Even as my youngest age is like 15, 16, I remember thinking about it. My opinions only hit that gray area during emotionally difficult times. So it's a fair point, you know, he's, um, he basically says that he's focused on his career. He says he's very stubborn and selfish sometimes, which uh, is uh, very honest and, and shows great self-awareness. To be honest, every time I hear John Cena speaking in any kind of interview, he always is very thoughtful. I have a lot of respect for John Cena. I do just want to draw your attention to what he said right at the end there. Only hit that gray area during emotionally difficult times. During emotionally difficult times, is when his decision hit that gray area. And I want to come back to that. But for now, let's tag out John Cena and let's tag in Stone Cold Jordan Peterson, the Canadian rattlesnake, if you know, you know. Well, if having children doesn't make you happy, the answer isn't don't have children. It's like, don't be so stupid about being happy. That's the answer. It's because there's a nobility in the pursuit, right? And of course, now you're responsible. You know, when you have a new baby, you think, especially if you're a new parent, you think, oh, <laughs> What the hell is this? And what am I going to do with it? You know, it's like, and, and then you're, you're done for the rest of your life. You never sleep properly again because you're going to be worried about this creature that you have to take care of. And, but like, what the hell good are you if you're not doing that or something else equally difficult? Or something equally as difficult. I don't know if having children is easier or harder than being two-time Royal Rumble champion. But I think the point is, is that you don't necessarily have to have children to find that meaning that sustains and will get you through suffering if you find it elsewhere. And this final part is why I would question what John Cena said. The idea that life is, you know, that happiness is the purpose of life. It's like great for happiness, man. If it comes along, you should be thrilled that it's visiting you. But the notion that that's, that that's what you should pursue, that's, that's the weakest possible notion. First of all, as soon as something terrible happens to you, you're done. It's like, life is to be happy. It's like, well, now you have cancer. So how's that? How's the happiness thing working out for you now? <laughs> or maybe it's not you, you know? Maybe it's your father that has Alzheimer's disease or some damn thing. And, you know, it's like it's a rare person that doesn't have some catastrophe one, one person away from them. It's like, life is to be happy. It's, that's not right. The rule is, aim high and get your bloody act together. That's the rule and establish this contractual covenant with the ultimate ideal and that will see you through the catastrophes. And that's a much more mature way of looking at life as far as I'm concerned because all you have to do is have your eyes half open and you see that the fundamental reality of life is tragedy and suffering. John Cena said that the only time that he ever doubted himself was in times of extreme mental hardship. Does that suggest that the things that he were doing was maybe not necessarily enough of a meaningful antidote to suffering. The meaning that will sustain you through suffering is to be found in the adoption of responsibility. Now, every time I've said that, and it happened again tonight, every single person goes silent. Why? It's because no one said that for 60 years. 
I agree with Peterson ultimately that sacrifice and suffering are unavoidable and it's the price of admission for life. Unless you're some kind of enlightened monk sitting on a mountaintop meditating all day or you do a bunch of mushrooms, I don't know. For most of us mere mortals, we toil until we move on. Perhaps the ultimate sacrifice is the willing adoption of responsibility and that is to be found at its purest form in rearing children, having a child. However, I don't think it's the only way that it can be found. The John Cena's of the world who, you know, wants to see something and conquer it can find great meaning in that too. Who's right, John Cena or Jordan Peterson? I don't know, but I think I do know a way to settle it. <laughs> But what do you think? I'm very keen to hear your thoughts. Do you have children? Have you decided not to have children? Do you regret having children? If you feel brave enough to let me know in the comment section below, please do. And we can spark some conversation and maybe we can come up with some answers or inevitably there will be more questions for us to unpack next time. And now time to reveal our mystery guest. It's Seth Rogen. Let's watch the clip. You don't need to have kids. Yeah, you don't need to have kids. Also like, won't the world not be here in 30 years? So. <laughs> Are we all gonna die anyway? Oh my God. None of this matters anyway, because we're all gonna. <laughs> uh. I wanna unpack that with Jack. I'll be right back.